Moving on to something more positive. Heroes around the world today, young and old, both make a difference. Our first story takes place on Jeju Island. Jeju is an island in Korea. It's kind of like a Hawaii place. Many beautiful um, tourist attractions. I lived there for a while myself. Monduk Museum provides food to seniors in solitude. Monduk Museum deposited 200 kilograms of rice and 20 boxes of ramen and water to the Jeju Support Center for the Elderly Living Alone for the seniors who have become isolated from the spread of the virus outbreak. The deposited foods were delivered to 20 households of the elderly who live in the Yongdong and Jokyeon up areas. Director Kim Song Hong and Maduk Museum said, upon hearing that many are in desperate need of help because of their serious situations following the spread of the bug, he remarked, the museum will continue to share rice and water and ramen we have already obtained with those in need. So this is a museum and it shows some girls that work there and they, they're giving the stuff off to the community. So that's great. Now I have another story to share for people of, of our time. Uh, boy, don't, this one actually takes place in the Philippines. So usually money is tighter in Philippines than in, than in South Korea. A boy donates saved money for a bicycle to help frontliners. A six-year-old boy from Alakasan, Kotashio City gave up a chance to have a bicycle on his birthday to instead help the frontliners fighting the virus in the area. The parents of Kurt have been saving money to buy a bike for his birthday on April 13th, but they were surprised when their son informed them that he, he would rather donate the money. This is my memorial birthday ever. Yeah, instead, instead of buying a bike for, for, from my savings, I've decided to buy a pig and celebrate my special day by giving packed lunch to the frontliners in my city, said the birthday boy during an online interview. Thank you, frontliners, for your dedication and sacrifice in the battle. International pageant director and talent manager Joseph Olig noticed the sacrifice of the frontliners in the area and in the news. Yeah, Zuhu, who is known in the area as Little Policeman Minando, said that he is willing to wait, wait for his bicycle next year. Nag offered in saying prayers, as he said, offer him prayers, his mother said. Cannibal said that his parents led the distribution of food packs to the frontliners. Neighbors laughed at his kind at the kindness and his parents during the difficult times. Actually it's lauded. Okay, lauded. Yeah, neighbors lauded. You know what? So my thoughts on these two uh, heroes that we read about today. I know many are using mobile apps to order food. But you can send orders to isolated people or senior homes to warm their day. The young can go on apps and help strangers with subjects or share in a hobby or teach origami or sign language or play a game together. Reach out and try to help and be a friend during this time. Hi, the small clip you saw was brought to you by Loyal World News. If you like what you saw, you should subscribe and tune and look up my daily loyal real news report for this full version if you don't want to watch it on youtube prefer to be on the road 
I also have a podcast in, in every full-length video I put up.